Hi, welcome to Meditation for Good channel. Meditation Quotes Meditation is a rich and powerful method of study for anyone who knows how to examine his mind. Meditation is the ultimate mobile device. You can use it anywhere, anytime, unobtrusively. We spend a great deal of time telling God what we think should be done and not enough time waiting in the stillness for God to tell us what to do. Are you experiencing restlessness? Stay. Are fear and loathing out of control? Stay. Aching knees and throbbing back? Stay. What's for lunch? Stay. I can't stand this another minute. Stay. Meditation connects you with your soul and this connection gives you access to your intuition, your heartfelt desires, your integrity, and the inspiration to create a life you love. With meditation, I found a ledge above the waterfall of my thoughts. If you have time to breathe, you have time to meditate. You breathe when you walk. You breathe when you stand. You breathe when you lie down. Meditation applies the breaks to the mind. Meditation is the discovery that the point of life is always arrived at in the immediate moment. If you want to conquer the anxiety of life, live in the moment. Live in the breath. Words are but the shell. Meditation is the kernel. If every eight-year-old in the world is taught meditation, we will eliminate violence from the world within one generation. If you cultivate the attitude of indifference towards the mind, gradually you will cease to identify with it. Meditation must be continuous. The current of meditation must be present in all your activities. If you can be continuously aware of each thought as it rises, and if you can be so indifferent to it that it doesn't sprout or flourish, you are well on the way to escaping from the entanglements of mind. Having come to realize in the first stage of meditation that we are not our bodies, in the second stage, we make an even more astounding discovery. We are not our minds either. Self-inquiry is not asking you to believe or to trust. It is putting a mirror in front of you and asking you to look. Inquiry is suited to many people in the West because we are more mental and it is very direct. So unsparing is its look that nothing can escape. All experiences come and go. What witnesses experiencing itself? Something is aware of even the energy of confusion inside of you. There is no need to get unconfused. Leave it, it will pass. From where does this I arise? Seek for it within. It then vanishes. This is the pursuit of wisdom, when the mind unceasingly investigates its own nature. It transpires that there is no such thing as mind. This is the direct path for all. The mind is merely thoughts. Of all thoughts, the thought I is the root. See who is in the subject. The investigation leads you to pure consciousness beyond the subject. All that you are is the result of what you have thought. It is founded on your thoughts. It is made up of your thoughts. Mine can be your best friend or your worst enemy. 
Whatever is fluid, soft, and yielding will overcome whatever is rigid and hard. What is soft is strong. Mere physical sitting is not enough. You have to sit carefully and attentively. Let your body and breathing sit. Let your mind and emotions sit. Let your blood circulation sit. Let everything sit. Then your sitting becomes indestructible, immovable. We are what our thoughts have made us, so take care about what you think. Words are secondary. Thoughts live. They travel far. The whole life is a succession of dreams. My ambition is to be a conscious dreamer, that is all. A few conscious-hearted, sincere, and energetic men and women can do more in a year than a mob in a century. The world is ready to give up its secrets if we only know how to knock, how to give it the necessary blow. The strength and force of the blow come through concentration. Hold to the idea, I am not the mind. I see that I am thinking. I am watching my mind act. And each day, the identification of yourself with thoughts and feelings will grow less, until at last you can entirely separate yourself from the mind and actually know it is to be apart from yourself. The secret of change is to focus all of your energy, not on fighting the old, but on building the new. Learn to be calm and you will always be happy. When meditation is mastered, the mind is unwavering like the flame of a candle in a windless place. Your calm mind is the ultimate weapon against your challenges, so relax. Do not dwell in the past. Do not dream of the future. Concentrate the mind on the present moment. The more tranquil a man becomes, the greater is his success, his influence, his power for good. Meditation practice isn't about trying to throw ourselves away and become something better. It's about befriending who we are already. A quiet mind is more important than a positive mind. Buddha spent six years meditating on the essence, causes, and cures for human anguish. In the end, he came to the realization that suffering is not caused by ill fortune, by social injustice, or by divine whims. Rather, suffering is caused by the behavior patterns of one's mind. To be concentrated means to live fully in the present. Meditation is the discovery that the point of life is always arrived at in the immediate moment.